Hey, I'm Thane, and I'm camped out here in Canyon City, Colorado, and this is my Nissan NV2500 build. It's a little dirty right now, but if anything, that just makes it look cool. This is the exterior of the van. As you can see, I added some CR Lawrence windows to the sliding door, and also I added their T-Vent window to the opposite side. And this one, you can just crank them out, add some more ventilation on the two lower vents, which if I did it again, I would have put two of these windows in. But uh, they are quite expensive. And then on the back, I've added this master lock, just for some added protection against bike thieves and whatnot. And then I've also upgraded the wheels. These are 17 by nine gear alloy big block rims. Uh, it actually cut 14 pounds off the weight of the stock steel wheels. And then we've got Neato Dora Grappler 265 70 17 tires that are one size larger. Um, which adds a much nicer ride and a little bit more traction maybe. So up on the roof I've got a 160 watt Renogy flexible solar panel and just a max air, max fan, you can also see up there. This is the inside of the van. You can see I've got this desk here with a Domatique CFX40W um, refrigerator, the T-Vent CR Lawrence window. I made this nice little bracket here for my Insigna 1800 watt induction cooktop, which I just unstrap and then I can put anywhere on the table I want um, depending on what I'm doing that day. Um, that's being run off this pure line wagon 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter which is hooked up to a 200 amp hour Renogy battery which is in that box in front of the bike there. As you can see I've got a little voltmeter up here and also I'm running lights, LED lights, all on separate switches so that I can have, you know, some reading lights here. I've got some cooking lights there. And then on this side, I've got a cabinet up above my bed. Just open that up, keep my sleeping bag, my jackets. That silver um, thing in the middle is actually a, a brushless fan for uh, really hot days. And then my bed platform, that actually goes sideways. It's about 70 inches lengthways, so I'm about six feet, which is 72 inches, so it's a slight bit short. I sleep slightly diagonally, but it's a five inch firm um, memory foam mattress. And then up here, I got a max fan max air uh, vent up on the roof. And this one's automatic, so you can set it up to whatever temperature you want, you know, it's got a thermostat. And then turn it off here or with the remote, and it'll just automatically open or close, which is kind of cool. And then where my inverter's hooked up, I've got this side console here. I keep my bike helmet and shoes up in the top there. And then I've got like slack lines, some extra shoes up in the middle, and just some laundry stuff in the bottom. I've got all my bikes in the back here on the sliding tray. And then I've got these cabinets here. I keep some clothes, backpacking packs, more backpacks, spare canister, water underneath. I've got food under this one, some climbing shoes, some art supplies, a lot more camping gear up on top here. And I've got some cooking gear, more stoves, some pots for the induction cooktop, then just a bunch of random stuff in this drawer. Then up top, just in the factory, um, roof area here. I've got, you know, my toiletries, paper towels, a lot of books. I've got 
the center console here filled with my camera, laptop, uh, this lock so it keeps it a lot more safe. And then some maps and other stuff in the in the doors. And then if we go down here, you can see I've got Velcro strips run along all the edges of the edges of the doorway here. And that just mounts a screen door that has a magnetic center strip so you can get in and out and leave it uh, more ventilated, you know, when it's super hot out, but still keep the bugs out at night. All right, to open the rear of the van, I just put my key in this master lock, remove it. I'll open these doors completely 180. Bikes that are inside. 